Welcome back to episode 7 on how to make a 100% self-state infusion reactor thingamabobber. In this episode, we will be creating the high pressure steam turbine. And after that episode, episode 8, we will be creating the uh, generator. So, I'm just going to come over here, and then this is going to be a good spot where you can pause your screen, or pause. Get this in view. So this is each of the uh, layers for the um, uh, high pressure steam turbine. This is being the uh, first and last. So this will give you make it so you can generate. So it goes obviously biggest to smallest. And then here are the amount of resources you need. You need slightly more to build one because I accidentally messed up a little bit of my math because it'd be four more blocks. I accidentally did this wrong. So 209 housing, blaze, injectors, yada yada, stuff. This is, it's going to be about another stack worth, so I think just add a little bit more. But this is how much H HSLA steel you'll need. Cause this is all built off of HSLA steel. So yeah, so I think this could just be another stack, to be completely honest. So this is how much you'll need. Have fun getting all of that. So that's how much you'll need to make one. So I shall let pop into the other world, and I shall see you in a little, little bit. Onion and some gelid cryotium. I am born. Okay, guys, you did not see those two items in my inventory, nor that third one. Okay, so over here, uh, where? over here, we'll be building the high pressure steam turbine, as well as the generator, due to lag purposes and because this requires a lot of graphics stuff. I'm trying to like build a lot of this stuff like a little bit out of render distance, so should give us a good amount of different distance in order to build it so for this you'll need literally like what would this be uh, we're missing just one five items just gonna be building this unit here so I'm gonna get up so this is uh, it's a Eventually, the front side is going to be an 11 by 11 area. So this is 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6. And then steam pipe there. There. Nope, let's just leave it there. You should go right there. So that should be good. Right. It is, it's weird how this is all set up. It's kind of like... Ugh, shmeh. What is right there? Okay, so that's that. Okay, yeah, so just layer one. It's just this. Just come all the way around. Like so. There's layer one. So you have to actually build it off of the uh, two layers. So let me replace that. Oh, oh that's my mouse. Okay. We're back. We're back on track, guys. Don't worry. I am a professional. And you'll just put your high pressure steam turbine right there. And then just fill it in around it. And you'll know it, w it worked if it turns into a multi-block. Like a awesome Minecraft looking thing like that. And you can't have those there because it breaks it. Oops. I, come on. There we go. Nope. That's not it. There we go. Aha. There we go. See, there's layer one slash two, but really one, even though it's two. And you're just going to take it like this. And then just do that. And then come around just like so. Hopefully you can keep this episode nice and short. Shorter the better, but smooth and not too fast. Just going to break that. There we go. See, layer two gonna come through just like this. So that's probably a little bit too fast. You're gonna have like a starish pattern and then a box. So I'm slightly fast. I'm sorry about that. So you take your turbine housing and then just fill it in around. In order to get this to go away so you can actually see how, how you're building it around, just break it and then place it in the block. Like so. Just gonna come around like this. And then you're gonna take this and then just build down two. Off like that. This is the most efficient way I've, per for personally for me, i found to build it. So just build a 2x3 off of each side, like so. Ooh, nope, not that. That looks like that. 
And then just put a block in each corner. Oop, don't like that. There we go, see? Just gonna move this out of the way. There we go. And so we know where we're putting the next block. Just gonna do it like that. So you have to, it's weird you have to break it like that so then you can see. So then you're just gonna make another circle or a ring around it, like so. And you're just gonna build it off like this. Yeah, no, I'm doing a good job at describing this. Do this, that, this thing. It's gonna look like that. And then just gonna build it off the top. See, what's interesting is that it's never, throughout the whole build, everything, it's never gonna have a black that looks like this or on the outside. See how it's kind of like corner to corner like that? It's always gonna have like a solid block somewhere. So it's always gonna be a solid block chain. That's also one good way to check to see if you did it right, or if you did anything on this right. I'm trying to keep it realistic, so like so, like so, there we go. So this is layer 5. So, ooh, you gotta like that glitchiness. Hello, thank you. Better. Okay, no, okay. And you're gonna do that same, like, thing again with the uh, rotor blades gonna do that one more time like so and then you're gonna build off two like on the uh, fourth layer just like this if you can see that <coughs> there we go and then just, like I said, how there's nothing in the corners, like that, it doesn't go diagonal like that, you just fill it in so it's a solid chain, like so. Sometimes you'll have to like, replace it, okay, yeah. And then right here, you just put one more in each corner. Boom. Boom. I said boom. Boom! There we go. My boom. That sounds weird. Never gonna say that again. Don't say that, kids. Okay, and then this is where it gets um, going into a new layer. So you're gonna go up three with the turbine planes. Go out three, down three, out three again, like this. So, pretend those aren't there. So it's like a giant X, I guess. Do two on the top and each side. Again, I'm just doing this so it's more easy to understand. Like so, and then just fill it in. Just make cubes in the middle. See, that's like that. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and then, remember I was saying how everything is just one solid line? Same thing here. One solid line at the, on the outside. So really, to be honest, you really only need to build one of these, and you can basically make so much electricity in RF that it doesn't matter. Again, because I ran that one in that other world just using one of these. By the way, this is just aesthetics. It's actually not neat. This, that looks horrible. Ignore that. So, yeah, that's just that. Okay, we're almost done. You have one more layer left, kids. Get in there. Give me my thing back. Ow. Oh, thank you, sir. And then this one is where it gets interesting. So, you just go down four. This time you go down four. Up four as well. To the right by four and to the left by four. And then you're gonna go in one block like this. So it's in one block. And then you're gonna go down and out by two. So kind of like that. It's contrast very hard to see, so I'm sorry about that. Then again, it's not really my fault because I didn't make the textures. So then you're gonna have kind of like an ish square and then just kind of fill it in. And then, okay, and then we're last, like, the last step. So right down there, you see that corner is the center. You're going to go out by two. You do the same thing here. Just go out by two. So eventually this will be, like, five. Like, length right here is going to be five. Should do it right there. Up two. Down two. And just going to fill it in like so. Remembering that 
everything is one giant chain. There are no corner to corner. That's for the last one. Just two. Two. Giant chain. And then you're done. And that's how you make the high pressure steam turbine from Roadwaycraft. Now you remember in the next episode we'll be building the second bit. And then you yeah. have. So I shall see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, donate. Comment, like, subscribe, stuff. Yeah, you guys get the jizz. So yeah. Have a good day. Wish you guys all the best of luck and uh, keep on mining.